at the Muscat International Book Fair, we are being joined by none other than the author who's just launched a book, Dr. Linda Papas Punch. And it's a beautiful book. I've heard about it, the reviews. And uh, she is the author of the book called Oman Reborn Balancing Modernization and Traditions. Yes. Traditions and Modernization. And uh, welcome to Oman again. Thank you. Your journey to Oman, we've met 10 years ago, and this is a reunion. Right. But your journey began exactly. Which year? 1974. 1974. I'm aging myself, of course. <laughs> but that must have been an amazing experience to be in Oman in 1974. It was indeed. It was indeed. Um, Oman in 1974 was clearly very different than it is today um, in terms of infrastructure, to be sure. Um, but it was a land of great promise. And it was enchanting. It was enchanting from the moment I stepped on the plane. Um, the people at that time were very optimistic, very positive. They were certainly very supportive of His Majesty the Sultan and believed that they were on the brink of something very special. And indeed they were. So you must have felt all the positivity. And did you travel a lot in Oman at that time? Well, it was somewhat difficult because, yes. of course, Oman did not have many roads. Mm. And uh, so uh, we traveled primarily to Nisra and Sakhar, and uh, with some difficulty, I might add. And it took us almost uh, the better part of a day to travel from Muscat to Nisra. Mm. The roads were very poor, many were under construction. And um, going to Nisra, of course, was for us, coming from the west, like going to the other side of the world. No. And so Hari is a guest of honor at this year, the Muscat International Book Fair. What a beautiful coincidence. Uh, when you look back, what were you doing in Oman in 1974? In 1974, I was living in Beirut, working for the Ford Foundation. Okay. And the Ford Foundation was asked to partner with UNICEF to do some studies in Oman to see what the, what the requirements were for women and child care, health, nutrition, uh, women's literacy planning, and it was the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs at that time that uh, invited us to put together a program of research, which we did, and as one of the uh, sponsors of this project, uh, we invited Fantastic. And you must have had lots and lots of pictures. So many pictures. So I had 35 millimeter pictures, which uh, were taken throughout the country, and uh, they were enchanting, just enchanting of children and women and along the way it used to be. Mm -hmm. Would love to see her collection, wouldn't you? But imagine she was here uh, 10 years ago to enjoy the Muscat Festival, and here she is. 2017 book fair to launch the book Amand Reborn Balancing Traditions and Modernization. And uh, what would you like to say about your book? Well, my book is really a tribute to Oman, to its development, to the wise leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, um, but also a love letter to the Omani people. Oh. It truly is, because um, what I discovered after a 32-year absence was that while the country had changed physically, the people had not. They were still um, quintessentially polite, warm, hospitable, welcoming, and there is a quality in Oman which one author described as almost a zen-like quality. It's a peaceful place, and it's serene, and the Omanis are people at uh, ease with themselves. And so that has uh, certainly uh, been enchanting for me. And what a beautiful way of putting it. A love letter to the Omanis. And that love letter is called Oman Reborn Balancing Traditions and Modernization. And yes, it is because the leader has set the path and it has been the people who have been keeping up with that path. And I guess that's really a way to congratulate people of Oman. Thank you so much. It's a great pleasure to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Such a lovely pleasure. And uh, this is the Muscat International Book Fair going on all the way until March 4th. Thank you for joining us.